Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am participating in a fun series or hop mad about mini paper pads. It's hosted by Moira and Crystal uh, and there's lots of people participating and it is just getting us to use our 6x6 or mini, doesn't even have to be 6x6, mini paper pads. Um, that's the focus um, and so I thought this was a really good fit for me this month because my How to Kill a Kit with Style kits are all 6x6 paper pads um, and so I thought two birds with one stone i'm making a layout using my how to kill a kit with style it's all six by six paper um, except for the background obviously and yeah it fits well for this challenge as well so let's do it i am using the work of heart collection by rosie studio the theme for how to kill a kit with style is warm beverages uh, i don't actually think i get any warm beverages onto this page necessarily but nonetheless there is some um coffee uh, and some mugs and stuff in this collection so you know we're going with it <laughs> I also did scrap some photos of my son um, using his tea set um, and playing with his tea set so you know that fits too <laughs> we're going with it we're going with it um, these are actually photos of my son um, making a scrapbook layout um, he's not. I was making a scrapbook layout and it was sticking down a whole heap of small hexagons and he saw me and I was filming it at the time and he wanted to come and help me. Um, so he came over and we played and he stuck a few down um, and he had some good fun. He was using my ATG gun. So I just snapped some photos because I thought it was cute. And this collection, the Work of Heart collection, um, has a lot of art supplies in it. So I'm trying to get as many art supplies onto this page as I can. And then I picked this uh, mixed media background paper by Vicky Booten, this rainbow paper. It is stunning. Um, and as soon as I saw this paper and the Work of Art, uh, the Work of Heart collection, um, the colours are really similar in that the Work of Heart collection has sort of the rainbow colour palette as well and very bright. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a rainbow layout. And that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm layering up my or I'm matting my photos on papers that are similar to the, the colours that it will be sitting on. Obviously, um, I can't match exactly because the... Um, Areas of colour on the background paper aren't as big as my photos. So there is some overlap, um, but I have matted them in yeah the different the different colours there of the rainbow. Um, I've picked one of my photos that I want to bump up onto foam, so I'm doing that. I'm just uh, excuse me. There's going to be some rustling for a second because I forgot to get the layout in front of me. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick the layout up now. Sorry, just give me one second while I grab it. Here it is. It'll teach me for sort of putting things away <laughs> after I've scrapped them. Um, so I picked a photo to pop up. All of them were variations on a theme, like all the photos were basically the same. But I picked one where you could see Lincoln's face and he was also using the ATG gun. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, so I've popped that up and now I have pulled out all of my pieces of ephemera. I've pre-sorted them so that they were kind of in the right colour families and pulled out all the art specific ephemera pieces. Uh, and then I'm also going to create a little cluster down the bottom right as well. So I'm just layering up my yellow cluster at the moment. So I've got things like um, there's some scissors and some... Uh, paint brushes and some little you know bulldog bulldog clips and some scissors and some pencils and some paint tubes that's the type of things that are going into these clusters now I'm just I'm just layering them up there's really no um, kind of you know rhyme or reason you don't need to see everything necessarily in these clusters but you get the sense you can see that they're all art supplies uh, so I'm just layering, layering, layering. Um, in certain colours, I had way more ephemera than others as well. So I had to sort of be a bit more aware of that. The green in particular was a bit tricky. I don't have much green and it's not an exact match for that sort of lime green on the very right hand side of the page. It's more, um, I don't know what kind of green you would call it, but it's more the green that's represented in the middle of the blue and the green um, on the in the rainbow background. But that's okay. It works. I think it works anyway. <laughs> um, now, rest assured, I don't make you watch me stick down all of the ephemera pieces. Um, I'm just going to stick down this one and then I'll edit out me sticking down the rest of the rainbow themed ones. And then I will create the bottom cluster with you on the page. And the bottom cluster, I just 
kind of used as a place to house all the other bits of ephemera that were mostly um, other colors in the rainbow or white based as well or multicolor if that makes sense um, so the hop so there's lots of as i said lots of lovely people participating in this hop and obviously crystal and moira who are the hosts um, and so make sure you check the description box everything will be linked down there uh, and go and hop along and watch everybody else's take as i said it's just a way for us to use our mini paper pads I obviously haven't used a heap of paper on this page, but it definitely still works. Every photo has two mats, um, and so I did get some of my 6x6 paper used up. I love using my 6x6 paper to map my photos. I think it's a great way to use up um, your paper that way. Um, now, as I said, I edited all of this out, so you didn't have to see me stick down all of the rainbow clusters. Um, and now I will work on the cluster on the bottom right. So as I said, I've just pulled out all the other art supplies that were either rainbow or multicolored um, or didn't quite match the colors that I had going on in my cluster. Um, so there was a bit of that kind of aquary blue that didn't get on the page um, because there just wasn't a good place to put it. Um, so I've in included quite a few of those supplies in that cluster down the bottom. I've included an easel with a uh, painting of a rainbow. Um, and then there's yeah a few other bits and pieces that get kind of added to the page. Um, and then I'm sticking all of those down. I've got some, um, I haven't stuck anything down yet. <laughs> I will stick it down. In fact, I don't think I'll make you watch all of the sticking down part, uh, but I will stick down my uh, this cluster and then I will come back in and I've got puffy stickers and chipboard as well that I'm going to try and get a few of those on the page as well. Now, I don't get every art supply in this collection on the page. Um, I could have, but that would have been a little much, I think. Um, but I do try and add some of the different textures into each of the pages as well. Oh, sorry, each of the clusters as well. And then I have these really old set of thickers. Don't ask me where they're from. I've got no idea. Um, but one of the titles is Colourful and Fun. And I just thought that would work really well because the, the word colourful is in a rainbow. It's not the same rainbow uh as the background but it still works <laughs> um and then i've got the colorful and fun um and then i do come in with a few hearts that were in this thicker sheet as well they're a um puffy thicker uh because i had some die cut hearts in each of the clusters but not all of them had hearts so the green and the blue clusters in particular didn't have any um die cut hearts so i wanted to come in and make sure um they had some hearts in their clusters as well so i used those thickers for that um and then i will as i said come in with the chipboard and the puffy stickers just to finish this off i don't add any other mixed media or anything like that i think there's enough <laughs> um i don't think it needs any more uh, but I do come in with a little bit of chipboard um, I added that little half circle that says always beautiful um, and then I accidentally pulled off the backing of that chipboard but it's just a little word strip that says super um, and then I know I add a pencil um, an orange pencil that says have fun there we go I'm adding that now oh no I'm adding a uh, tube of paint and then I'll have a pencil to add as well. Um, and then I definitely come in with some puffy stickers. Here we go. So these puffies are really tiny. They're super cute. And so I add some bulldog clips and some scissors. Um, I think I add scissors to, oh, not all of them actually. Um, green was really hard. They didn't have a lot of puffy stickers in or chipboard in the green, which was a bit unfortunate. So the green cluster is definitely a little light on, um, but that's okay. Thankfully, it's on the kind of far right. So there wasn't a heap of room to add a lot anyway, but it is definitely smaller than the other clusters, which was a bit disappointing, but that's okay. Um, and so I'm adding like some, a paper clip and some more paint tubes and as I said the little scissors um, and some paint brushes and some pencils. There's really lots of art things in this collection. It's a really cute collection actually and while this layout is full on and bright and colourful um, I think it really works. I think it really works anyway. Lincoln also has super bright and colourful pants on <laughs> which I think works. Uh, yeah. 
I'm still working on my 2022 photos. I'm a long way behind. <laughs> um, we're not surprised, really. I mean, I took a lot of photos in 2022 with, obviously, the birth of Addison. Um, so there's a lot of photos to catch up on. Um, I'm hoping to not have quite as many photos in 2023, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so that's it. I am all done. I'm just trimming off the edges. Make sure you go and check all of the lovely people linked in the description box down below who are participating in this hop. Just writing the date on the back so I can come back with my journaling. Here is my close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.